good morning in this presentation we are going to see about the pharmacognosy of bees wax and lanolin that is hydrous wool fat so first we will start with the bees wax so already we have seen about honey which is uh, the sugary secretion obtained from the honeycomb of the hive bees so just after the uh, removal of honey from the honeycomb the honeycomb is left behind and from that a waxy substance is isolated that is called as your beeswax and there are two different varieties of beeswax one is the white beeswax another one is the yellow beeswax that is the difference in the color as such when you are isolating the beeswax or the waxy material from the cappings of the honeycomb without bleaching it is yellowish in color or yellowish brown in color which is called as your yellow beeswax and after bleaching the color is removed which becomes white it is called as white beeswax okay so this uh, beeswax morphologically again it is an unorganized drug and chemically it contains the lipids and pharmacologically it is used uh, as a pharmaceutical aid that is it is a substance used in the various formulations to stabilize the preparations the synonym it is otherwise called as wheat sorry white beeswax it is a, uh, the cera alba alba means white and yellow beeswax which is otherwise called as cera flava when you come to the biological source it is the purified wax obtained from the honeycomb of the hive bees that is apis mellifera apis darseta and other species of apis belonging to the family apidae geographical source it is mainly found in jamaica egypt africa india france italy and next we see about the production of beeswax already you know how the honey is collected and deposited in the honey combs okay again it is a work of the worker bees the worker bees secretes a wax like substance due to its ability of maintaining a high temperature the wax is secreted in the last four segments of the abdomen on the ventral surface when you just see the parts of the insect it consists of the head thorax and the abdomen okay and uh, just below the sterna it has a smooth layer of cells which forms the chitinous area so this is the place where the wax is secreted and this chitinous area has a small pores through which the wax comes out and then the wax is pa passed on to the front leg and later on to the mouth the wax when it comes to the mouth it gets mixed with the saliva and then it is secreted or it is deposited on to the honeycomb to build the honeycomb along with the other substances this wax forms a capping on the honey cells forms about the 
uh, almost around one eighth part of the honeycomb. That means the weight of this cappings will be around one eighth part of the honeycomb. And after the removal of honey, the honeycombs or the cappings are taken and they are kept in the linen bags and these bags are suspended in a truck which contains the boiling water, sometimes the dilute sulfuric acid. When the wax is kept in the boiling water which is packed inside the linen bag, it gets melted and oozes out of the bag. On cooling, the melted wax gets solidified on the surface of the bag and also some wax, it floats on the water. While all the impurities will get settled down in the bottom of the trough and also if at all, if any honey is present, it gets dissolved in the water. And the pure wax is scraped off from the surface of the bag or from the uh, surface of the water and it is put into the earthen vessel which is wiped with a damp cloth. And the wax obtained by this method is called as your yellow beeswax that is without decolorization or without removing the color. And white beeswax is obtained from this yellow beeswax by bleaching. And this bleaching can be done by two methods. One is by exposing it to the natural sunlight or by treating with the chemicals like potassium permanganate, chromic acid, chlorine, or sometimes the color adsorbed onto the charcoal. And this white beeswax, which is prepared by using the chemicals are not used. The ointment, yellow beeswax is used. And next, when you come to the morphological characters of beeswax, this beeswax, that is yellow beeswax, it is yellowish to grayish brown in color. It is a solid material. Whereas if you take the white beeswax, it is white in color. It is innocuous to touch. It is soft and ductile at 35 degrees centigrade temperature and it is fusible at 65 degrees centigrade. It has the agreeable honey-like order with faint and characteristic taste. It is somewhat brittle in nature. When it is broken, it shows the presence of dull, granular or non-crystalline fracture. And when it is pressed between the fingers, thumb and the index finger, it crumbles down. And when you just come to the solubility of beeswax, it is insoluble in water. It is sparingly soluble in cold alcohol and completely soluble in chloroform, ether, in fixed oil and also in volatile oils. And it is partly soluble in cold benzene and in carbon disulfide. And it is completely soluble in these liquids when the temperature is increased at about 30 degrees centigrade. That is about the solubility of beeswax and the different solvents. And when you just come to the uh, standards, the melting point is around 62 to 65 degrees centigrade. And it has the specific gravity of about 0.958 to 0.967 and the acid value of around 5 to 10 with the saponification value 90 to 103 and the ester value around 80 to 95. These are the standards which the beeswax has to comply with. And next when you come to the chemical constituents of beeswax, it contains the ester which is called as myrcid. It is otherwise called as myrcyl palmitate. That is, it is an ester of myrcyl alcohol with palmitic acid, which has the melting point at 64 degrees Celsius. 
the mercyl alcohol is liberated when mercyl palmitate is saponified or when it is boiled with an alcoholic KOH that is the ester mercyl palmitate is broken down to mercyl alcohol and palmitic acid. Apart from this ester, it also contains the pre-serotic acid, malicic acid and serolin. And this malicic acid along with it, it, it is, has some unsaturated fatty acids also with like oleic acid and also alcohol like cyril alcohol. And apart from that, it also contains around 12 to 13 percent of higher hydrocarbons. So these are all about the chemical constituents of these wax. And when you just come to the uses, the beeswax, it is used in the preparation of ointments, as I already told you. In the preparation of eye ointments, only yellow beeswax should be used. And it is also used in the preparation of creams, plasters and polishes. And it is also used in the field of dentistry to make the models and the electronic industries. And it is used in the preparation of candles and molds. These wax, when you just see the adulterants, it is adulterated by solid paraffin, cerosin, carnauba wax and other animal fats and waxes. When it is adulterated with spermicity and blood, the wax will become softer and less cohesive in nature. And if it is adulterated with uh, bone tallow, sweat, lard or the other uh, soft paraffins, the melting point and specific gravity are lowered. So thereby you can uh, detect the presence of adulterants in these wax, especially with the melting point. So that is about the beeswax. And next we'll see about the pharmacognosy of lanolin or hydrous wool fat. It is again morphologically a sem uh, unorganized drug which is a semi-solid fat and chemically it belongs to lipids that is it is a fat and pharmacologically again it is used as a pharmaceutical aid which is used in the various preparations synonym it is otherwise called as hydrous wool fat if it is wool fat it is called by anhydrous lanolin or otherwise it is called by adapts lane or laniol Biological source, not the biological source exactly, the zoological source because it is a drug from the animal source. Lanolin is a purified fat like secretion of the sebaceous glands which is deposited onto the wool fibers of the sheep. Ovis aris belonging to the family Bovidae, order Angulata. Once again, I'll repeat the zoological source. It is a purified fat like secretion from the sebaceous glands, which is deposited on the fleece of the wool of sheep. Ovis aris, belonging to the family Bovidae order Angulata. And next is the geographical source. It is mainly manufactured in Australia, USA, and to less extent in India. So what is the preparation of this lanolin or hydrous wool fat? During the shearing time, the wool is cut up from the sheep. And this raw wool contains around 31% of wool fibers. And suint, otherwise called as wool sweat, which is chemically a potassium salt of fatty acids. And also it has around uh, 32 percent of the earthy matter and 25 percent of wool grease. This wool grease is otherwise called as crude lanolin. This crude lanolin is separated by washing with the dilute sulfuric acid or with any organic solvent or soap solution. And the one which is separated by this method is 
further purified and bleached. And this crude lanolin, which is prepared by this method, is called as anhydrous lanolin or wool fat because it does not contain any water. And then this is made into hydrous wool fat by incorporating 30% of water. That is called as your lanolin or hydrous wool fat. And if you just come to the characteristics or morphological characters of lanolin, it is an yellowish white or tenacious, innocuous, semi-solid mass with a slight and characteristic smell and bland taste. When you just come to the solubility, it is insoluble in water, but soluble in chloroform, ether and other organic solvents. When it is solubilized in the organic solvents, it is separated into two layers, like one is the uh, soluble fatty layer and another one is insoluble water because the lanolin is incorporated with 30% of water. The standards with a melting point 34 to 44 degrees centigrade with the acid value not more than one and iodine value ranges from 18 to 36 and with the saponification value 90 to 105 and peroxide value it should not be more than 20. On heating it forms two layers in the beginning with on continuous heating complete water is removed off and it becomes a single fatty layer. And this lanolin is not saponified by the aqueous alkali. Usually it is saponified with alcoholic solution of alkalis. And when you just come to the chemical constituents of uh, lanolin, it is a complex mixture of esters and polyesters of 33 high molecular weight alcohols along with 36 fatty acids. Usually there are three types of alcohols present in lanolin, that is aliphatic alcohols, steroidal alcohol, and triterpenoidal alcohols. The mostly the chief constituents are the steroidal alcohol, alcohols like cholesterol and isocholesterol is present. And these steroidal alkaloids, that is cholesterol and isocholesterol, they are present in both preform and as well as in the ester form by combining with lanoceric acid, lanopomitic acid, cornubic acid and other fatty acids. And also this lanolin consists of the esters of folic acid, myristic acid, along with the aliphatic alcohols like cetyl alcohol, serile alcohol, cornibel alcohol, etc. And apart from this, it also contains lanosterol and agnosterol. And cholesterol also present in the free form. So that is the chemical nature of your lanolin. And next is the identification test. Here you have to identify the lanolin by the presence of cholesterol. So how will you do the test? You can identify the cholesterol by the test for steroids. That is uh, your Salkowski test or liberman burchard test. Here I had uh, given the liberman burchard test. The Lanolin is dissolved in chloroform and uh, it is treated with acetic anhydride and few drops of sulfuric acid. A deep green color is produced which indicates the presence of cholesterol. This is liberman burchard test. And Salkowski test is nothing but just dissolving the lanolin in chloroform and adding few drops of sulfuric acid, you get brown color. So that is about the uh, identification test for the cholesterol that is which in turn for lanolin and uses it is used as an emollient and as a water absorbable ointment base in many skin creams and cosmetics
it is also used for hoop dressing wool fat is readily absorbed through the skin that is why it is called as an water absorbable ointment base so because of this property it helps in increasing the absorption of active ingredients which are incorporated in the ointment however this may act as an allergenic sometimes when it is in contact especially in the hypersensitive persons so care should be taken for the hypersensitive persons to avoid the allergic reactions so that is about the lanolin or hydrous wool fat so here ends the uh, pharmacognosy of these wax and lanolin that is hydrous wool fat thank you